little flippy flappy chappy wappy um i don't know but anyway hello we are back and um we have a new walmart this week and the main reason i want to go through this walmart in particular for this week is because you know with these new relics and stuff that we've been getting this week in the walmart we have extra den relics and so with these relics it seems like we get two of them and the problem with these is that they cost 199 gems. So assuming that we actually get two of these, then basically you are purchasing the extra breeding den for two days and they're charging 200 gems for that. Because if you don't know what the extra breeding den relic is, the extra den relic by using these relics you can activate the extra breeding den for one day if the extra breeding den is already active using a token will increase the availability of the den by one day and people are going to be asking whether this is worth it because you know having two breeding dens active at the same time is super super good especially during stuff like castle events where otherwise it's impossible to get 100 percent of the breeding points every refresh but the extra breeding den base, you can only get this den by purchasing it outright with money, so it's not like you can save up gems and uh, just purchase it with a gem amount. You have to spend £4.19, pence, maybe more if you're on Android or using different currencies, but this is the price on PC for me for a 30 day, I don't know, rental? Is that the right way to say it? Uh, but either way, it lasts for 30 days, and they're essentially charging £4.20p up to maybe $5 or something. £5, if you want to say that. So 200 gems base cost is actually, what is that, like £6.40? But if you're competent and you get stuff on sale, you can get it for less than 2 quid to get these 200 gems, if, especially if you've got the clam deals and that on sale and things like that. But, you gotta remember, these extra den relics only last for two days. That's it, compared to the entire 30 days that you get the other breeding den for. This is a really weird bundle, and this is, in my opinion, extremely overpriced. Like, incredibly. No matter what usage you're gonna get out of two days of an extra breeding den, you probably could have spent those 200 gems on something a lot more valuable. Maybe even open divine chests, honestly, and gotten yourself pieces for Osiris. I really, really do not suggest that you purchase these extra breeding dem relics. They're pretty bad. So I'm hoping that we actually get a deal where they're pretty good. Aside from that, we've also got arena gem deals, which for 10 scrolls is a really, really quality deal. We've got divine tickets in exchange for gold, which is super, super worth it. Why would you not buy this? Like, the divine tickets are probably going to give you back resources anyway, so it's worth that. And then, it annoys me that we keep getting these gem deals. The 10 divine tickets for 80 gems, still not that impressive. I wouldn't recommend doing it and 50 dragon piece tickets for 750 gems. I think you need this one. No, I really don't. I really don't. Dragon piece tickets can be useful for getting certain dragons, but 750 gems, I know there's 50 of them, but we've been getting better deals for these dragon tickets in the uh, dungeon, I think it is, and things like that in the dungeon shop. So, like, here you go. You can get 10 of these for 200 dungeon tokens. They're free, why would you not do this instead? I'm just, I'm, I'm not really understanding where the logic for some of these Walmart deals is coming from, but they seem incredibly overpriced recently. I'm not, not a fan of them at all, but you know, I just really wanted to go through that because considering how good some of the breeding relics have been and uh, stuff like the farming relics, they can be super useful. If they're going to charge us 200 gems every time just to get a breeding den for two days, uh, they're probably going to end up being the worst relics by far. But, you know, we will be getting weekend events hopefully as well, which are going to give us some bonus divine tickets. Um, if you're going to ask where I'm up to in the boss challenge, uh... <laughs> To be honest with you, I've not really logged in for two days. I really have not been caring too much about doing the boss challenge or pretty much anything in game at the moment. Obviously the boss challenge is the best way to get bonus divine tickets. If you're ever going to spend money on buying divine tickets, 
you should speed up your progress in the boss challenge events because they are the cheapest way by far to do it. But, I don't know, I just can't force myself to log in every two hours. I haven't been doing the bottomless dungeon either. But to those of you that really, really want to get the divines, the legendaries and things like that, it is necessary for you to be playing all of these events very, very, very seriously. But I've been having a lot of fun, just not really worrying about it too much, to be honest. Like, I guess I've just had enough of the constant logging in and things like that, so rather than pushing myself, I'm just sort of chilling. If we can get some... Hell yes, dude. Is this, is this what I get? <laughs> I haven't been logging in and you're rewarding me? Seriously? You see, this is why I hate these divine chests. You can spend all of your time doing all of these events, doing everything, trying your best to, you know, get all the pieces that you possibly can, and then you log in for the first time in a couple of days after doing nothing and then it rewards me? Just because of our own... whatever. Whatever. We need to take this duplicate deco dragon here because we need to hatch him so that we can get the Apep Dragon. But those 40 pieces was pretty much exactly what we needed! Well, I guess I can't complain about my luck for a little while, huh? It's not an Osiris, it's not Chronoseth, but it is indeed something really, really good for us. Because, again, now that we've done this, it means that we can get the other collection completed, the Snake Charmer collection. So when our Deco Dragon hatches, we will unlock the legendary Apep Dragon. And considering that I missed out on the Gwandi last time, and did I miss out on another one? I don't remember. But I missed out on him because we never got the legendary duplicate. But now that we have him, we will go ahead and hatch his wondrous egg in a couple of days, get our reward, get another legendary. Sounds pretty swell. And plus, if we really wanted to, we could always just ascend the duplicate deco that we're going to be hatching here. So, either way, he's going to get some sort of value. Although, ascending really doesn't give many pieces at all. Like, from ascending all of those Gemini... what were they? Gemini Alpha Dragons, I barely got any legendary mats, which is very telling of how unlikely it is that you're actually going to get something, but... That was some pretty good luck. I'm sorry for dissing you all the time, game. Still hate your loot boxes. Even if you were nice to me this one time. Still ain't happy about it. And so, just quickly while we're here, I also want to point out that they keep bringing out these enchanted packs, which... It's obvious the reason that they've put those 50 dragon tickets in the Walmart shop because of these, but... These are the special enchanted packs where they will charge two dragon tickets to open each of them, and in these packs you can get one of, or two dragons basically. You can get a rare and you can get the legendary garden dragon pieces along with enchantment materials and you do have the chance to get extraordinary divine and extraordinary legendary. So these are actually pretty solid overall, but it says each pack has an equal chance of granting any one featured dragon piece or another random reward item. And the main thing to note about this is that you can get up to 20 pieces of the Legendary and up to 8 pieces of the Rare. Minimum 5 and minimum 2 for the Rare. It's actually not too bad, uh, but at the same time, the Garden was available in a calendar event, so I imagine people wouldn't have any pieces of it really. But average number of rewards per 100 card packs opened. That's per card packs, which means you need to double that for the amount of tickets that you'd need, essentially. So, 156 rare pieces, 389 legendary dragon pieces, and 250,000 enchanted trinkets. So, you are expected to get a lot more of the legendary dragon pieces than the rare pieces, which you only need 40 pieces for the rare, but you need 100 for the garden, so it actually kind of makes sense. But, main thing here is to note the trinkets and the enchantment materials, which are going to come very much in handy for a lot of people. Where has my quit button gone? Where has my quit button gone? <laughs> I can't exit! Oh, I have to use escape to exit. What has happened? I swear, this game breaks more and more every single day. What I was gonna say is... I really wish that there was a way for you to see how many dragon tickets you have and a lot easier just at all times pretty much 
because you can't really see it unless you go into very specific places to check. Like if there was a way to count or just show how many there are on the front screen, then when we went into the promotions tab and went here, can't it just show me? Can't it just show me how many I have? Because I never remember. I literally never remember. Whatever, I'm gonna open one of them. Or one lot, shall we say. What are you gonna give me? Give me some... Legendary. No, it was light. So... You can see the main problem is... It's only gonna give you one of each. It's only gonna give you one of each item. Which is the main problem with them. If they gave a dragon piece and an enchantment material, it would be pretty good. But when it gives you stuff like that, it's just sort of... a it's all gambling. It's all gambling loot boxes, stupid stuff, and uh, even though it might seem pretty good on the surface, because you're only getting one out of that selection of stuff, if you want the enchantment materials, you might just get a dragon piece. You might get the trinkets. What if you just want the extraordinary divine mats? If you've got tons of dragon tickets saved up, then it might be pretty good to just spend them on that, I guess. But then when another special deal comes out where there's a dragon in a special pack, you're probably going to feel pretty bad that you wasted all of it and all that you got was some light enchantment materials instead of, you know, saving up for a cool bundle that was actually going to come out soon. So, I don't know. It's just some of the bundles and deals recently have felt particularly really, really bad value. Some of them have seemed really good value, like the extra breeding tokens that we got. They were really, really useful for people to, you know, help them get the legendary and things like that. But, I don't know, I'm really upset that those jewel breeding den relics are so expensive. Why? Just for a day. Just a day. I'm not going to spend 200 gems to get a 24 hour period on that. It's really... You could spend that on portal upgrades, you could spend that on VIP for an entire month. Like, come on, wouldn't you rather take VIP for a full month? Which would reduce all of your timers anyway? Eh, I don't know, it doesn't make sense. Even if they were at like... 50 gems... That's still... I guess... You can... It, it's a question of how much value you're gonna get out of it. Same with a lot of the relics. For certain players, you know, they might get no value if you pre-plan it and uh, sort of organise yourself for specific times to use it and things like that. You're probably going to, you know, help your value quite a lot. But even 50 gems, I feel, is too much just for two days worth of breeding den. I don't know. Again, dual breeding dens are incredibly good. For 10, I think I'd do it for 10. Yeah, it's sort of like bartering. I'm trying to think in my head, would I do it for 10? Say someone gave me a deal, it's like, Hello, hello, I'm going to give you a very cool deal. Do you want to buy an extra breeding token? Like, if they did that, if they, if they offered it to me for 10, I think impulsively I'd probably buy it. I don't think I'd buy it for 50. But maybe there's something I'm overlooking. Maybe there's a situation where it would be useful, in which case, please let me know. Because I am happy to, uh, you know, take people's advice and if I miss something and they say, Hey, but what about this situation? It's like, ah, I guess that is true. But I just think that 200 is extortionate. Like, there aren't many deals worse than that. Instead, just, I don't know, go and babysit for half an hour and buy a second breeding den, I guess. Easier said than done, of course. It's not quite that easy to just, you know, find something to do and get free money. But you could probably find a lot of other things to spend your gems on, is basically what I've tried to say this entire time. But Divine Chests in general, I expect that very soon a lot of people will start unlocking the Deco and start unlocking the Osiris on average. Because we've had, what is it, three weeks worth of events? Or is it two weeks? I, I don't even remember anymore. I think it's been two. We've had the boss challenge. We've had the Dragon's Delight event. We've got the castle event left to go. And at this point, a lot of people have a decent amount of deco pieces. But 
I believe that according to the in-game stats, it's something like 800 chests, roughly. Obviously, it's different for everyone, but about 800 chests is what you should expect to sort of have enough pieces for deco on average. So some people might have 10 pieces after they've opened 800 chests. Some people might have three decos. Just how loot box RNG works, but you need to open about a thousand of them, let's say, to be to be roughly safe. And you can get a thousand tickets throughout the course of the whole set of divine events if you play every single event. You're logging in, doing things like that, but not everyone has the time to do that all the time, or maybe they are just bored. So um, we shall see anyway. Uh, I guess that's my general thoughts on the new Walmart and things that are going on at the moment. I do highly suggest that if you are going to spend, spend it on the boss challenge event and don't spend your money on any other divine tickets past this point. Because when you finish a round, you get, you get the bonus tickets from defeating the boss, but in general, just never buy gems outright. Like this bundle at the moment, it's 50% off. But even then, you can probably get this deal for a lot cheaper by doing other things. So, ever buying the 3800 gem bundle makes me feel a little bit sick inside seeing other people do it. Because you probably could have gotten it cheaper. Especially if you just save up clam point or clam gems. I get that the reason that this deal is so tempting is because you immediately get all the gems. And it means that you can spend it straight away on divine tickets. But... Is it really worth it, all of this for a Chrono Seth? When we're gonna get a new Chrono Divine anyway in like a month? Probably not. You should probably save your 40 dollars, 40 quid, and spend it on something cooler. Genuinely. It's usually never worth it. But anyway, I, I always moan about gem deals and such. It's nothing new. I'm gonna do it for the rest of my life probably. But but yeah, that is everything that I want to say. So uh, make some educated decisions. Buy the things that are worth it. Avoid the things that are not. And until next time, I will see you then.